Hi, I'm Goran Rista, founder of Goran Grooves and developer of Handy Drums plugins. In this video, I'll show you around Handy Drums plugins graphic user interface. But first, make sure to watch my video introduction of Handy Drums if you haven't already done so. I'll wait. I'll be here when you come back. All right, let's dig in. The first thing you'll notice is the mixer, and it allows you to tweak the balance of individual drum elements in relationship to one another. The instrument icons you see above each slider also act as audition buttons, and pressing them will play instruments available articulations at random velocities. You can easily assign any hardware MIDI controller to any fader by right-clicking on it with your mouse, selecting Learn MIDI CC, then moving the MIDI controller, or picking the CC number from the pop-up of available choices. The discrete level indicator will be visible whenever a signal is present in the instrument channel. Mute buttons underneath each channel do what they suggest. All regular Handy Drums plugins contain essential percussion instruments, cowbell, shaker, tambourine, triangle, and hand claps. Those percussion instruments are standard in many genres and are meant to make the virtual instrument more versatile, regardless of which Handy Drums plugin you use. The percussion subgroup fader controls the level of all percussion instruments, while the master fader controls the output of the entire plugin. Handy Drums plugins that include many percussion instruments such as the Studio Standard, Latin Percussion and Drums, or Reggae Standard, have their dedicated percussion tab to access that portion of the mixer. Clicking on the keyboard button will display a visual music keyboard that highlights all music notes currently utilized by the plugin. Next is the Drum or Key Mapping button, which opens up the mapping panel. This allows you to change what note will trigger what instrument. For example, a kick drum is generally mapped to C1, but you can easily change it to another note, such as B0. This allows you to use MIDI drum loops from different sources without changing the loops to suit the plugin mapping. As you change the mapping of drum components, it will be reflected on the visual keyboard. Here we have the output routing button. Pressing it will display the routing for each drum component right under each slider. By default, all drum components are routed to stereo channels one and two. There are eight stereo channels available in the plugin, and they will allow you to split the drums into separate stems for further processing, such as adding reverb. Just be sure to enable all outputs for the plugin within your DAW. Note that the multiple outputs are only available in the plugins and not standalone apps. Clicking on the About button brings up the credits panel, while clicking on the URL will open up the Goran Grooves library platform. You can browse additional content and find all information relevant to Handy Drums. The Gears button takes you to the plugin settings. There are several elements in the settings panel and you likely won't need to touch them. But if something is not working as you should, this is the place to look in. Please note that because your DAW controls some of those settings internally, they will only be available in the Handy Drums standalone apps. UI Zoom factor enables you to make the plugin as large or as small as you need. Should there be any stuck CC messages, you can clear them using this button. You will see the installation location of the plugin sample library here. If you manually relocate the plugin sample library, you will need to reconnect it using this button. These settings are for the standalone app only. They allow you to set the optimum performance for your computer system. I recommend using the fastest audio driver and smallest buffer size that yields the quickest glitch-free playback response. The MIDI channel panel is mainly only needed for the standalone app, and it is to ensure that your MIDI controller triggers the plugin. The final element of the settings panel is the Variable Hats Controller Curve CC4. The Variable Hats Controller Curve is meant for drummers using electronic drums. Using this curve, you can precisely adjust how your hi-hat foot controller interacts with the plugin. Easily add or remove curve nods by clicking anywhere. There you have it. To hear our full range of drum and percussion sounds, our accompanying MIDI drum loops, and what they can do for your music, visit the Goran Grooves library now. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you next time. Until then, keep grooving. <laughs>